Hi, so hello everyone and welcome to another video and today we'll be working the June 2019 paper 2 and for this video we're going to make it short so we're only going to be working question 1 so you can tune in after this for question 2, question 3 and so on and so forth. So I start by doing question 1A so it says using a calculator otherwise evaluate each of the following and they gave us a fraction which has fractions at the numerator and a whole number at the denominator so what we're going to do is to start by first working the fractions that are at the numerator so what we're going to do is rewrite that so what we'll have is so let's state it to working numerator So what we have is two and a quarter minus one and three over five. So what we're going to first do is to change these mixed fractions to improper fractions. So what we have is two times four is eight plus one to give us nine over four minus five ones, five plus three to give us eight over five. And then what we're going to do next is to, the, to do the famous finding the LCM of the denominator. So we're going to find the LCM of the denominators, which is five and four. And what we'll get for that is 20. So what we'll have is our new numerators being expressed over 20. So what we say is 4 into 20 goes 5 times, 5 times 9 is 45, minus 5 into 20 goes 4 times, and 4 times 8 is 32. And then we can go ahead and do our subtraction. So what we'll have is 45 minus 32 and we'll get 13 over 20. So this is this is the answer for the numerator portion. So now if you remember now going back to the original fraction, you would have you would have the numerator portion being divided by three. So since we know work out and we know what the numerator is, which is 13 over 20, we'll continue now to say 13 over 20 and that was divided by 3 which is the same as 3 over 1 if we're expression, expressing it as a full fraction. So what we know is that we never ever divide fractions at all. So what we always do is to change our division to multiplication and then flip the fraction that follows. So what we'll have here is 13 over 20, we change our division sign to multiplication and then flip the fraction that follows. So what we'll get is 1 over 3. And now we can go ahead and work. So what we'll have is 13 multiplied by 1 to give us 13 and 20 multiplied by 3 to give us 60. So what we have is 13 over 60 and this is our final answer in its exact form so this is our answer 13 over 60. so now moving on to part two it says 2.14 sine 75 degrees giving your answer to two decimal places so what we'll have is equal 2.14 sine 75 degrees so what we'll do is to first work the sine portion so we'll have 2.14 multiply by multiply by when you do put sign on your calculator sign 75 what you'll get is 0 
five nine. So we'll write it to four decimal places. And now we'll multiply this by the 2.14. So it is 2.14 multiplied by 0 0.9659. And what we'll get is 2.067026. And this is our exact answer. But remember that the question asked us to write it to two decimal places. So to two decimal places, it will be 2.0. Seven. So remember, so let me write that in two decimal places. So remember, zero would have been our first decimal place. Six would have been our second decimal place. So what we have to do is to look at the number that follows. Is it greater than or equal to five? If it is, then what we'll do is to add one to the last interested decimal value which was a six so at one tweet and we get seven so our answer is 2.07 now moving on to part b it says irma's take-home pay is four thousand three hundred and twenty dollars per fortnight and they're using fortnight for every two weeks so they're explaining it to you so it says each fortnight irma's pay is allocated according to the following table so this table gives us the amount that is allocated to the different responsibilities that is in Irma's life, which will add up to 4,320 for every fortnight, which is every two weeks. So question one, part one says, what is Irma's annual take-home salary? Assume she works 52 weeks in every, any given week, any given year. So what we know is that 52 weeks in a given year, so therefore the number of fortnight would be equal to the 52 weeks divided by two and when you do that you'll get 26 fortnights so there'll be 26 fortnights in any given year so therefore irma's annual take-home salary so therefore take home salary which is the annual amount would be equal to the four thousand three hundred and twenty dollars multiplied by the 26 fortnights and when you do that it is eleven thousand sorry one hundred and twelve thousand three hundred and twenty dollars and this will be Irma's take-home salary each year. So Irma's annual take-home salary will be $112,320 when she's being paid $4,320 for each fortnight. Part 2 now asks us to determine the amount of money that Irma allocates for rent each month. So basically what we know is this is kind of some algebra so therefore we'd have to based on what the table shows we'd have to rewrite everything and make it equal to four thousand three hundred and twenty dollars then solve for x so what we'll have is x plus six hundred and twenty nine dollars plus two x dollars plus one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars is equal to four thousand three hundred and twenty dollars so what we're going to do is put the like terms together which i'm going to put the x and the two x together and then the other numbers that follow which will be the six hundred and twenty nine dollars and the one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars is equal to four thousand three hundred and twenty dollars i'm going to add my x's so what i'll get is x plus two x will give me three x and then I'm going to add the $629 plus the $1,750 and that will give me $2,379 is equal to the $4,320. So what we can do now is to say 3x is equal to, so we're now going to subtract the $2,379 from both sides of the equation. So what we'll have is 3x 
is equal to $4,320 minus $2,379. So therefore, 3x is equal to $1,941. Now we can go ahead and solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by 3. So what we'll have is the $1,941 divided by 3. And therefore, x is equal to $647. But so this would be the amount that is allocated per fortnight. Remember, the question says determine the amount of money that Irma allocates for rent each month. So therefore, therefore, the amount allocated per month is equal to so what we'll do is the 647 dollars multiplied by two would give us the monthly amount as remember there are two fortnights in each month so it would be 647 dollars multiplied by two and that will give us 1294 dollars per month so this is the amount that irma allocates for rent each month one thousand two hundred and ninety four dollars part three now says all of irma's savings is used to pay her son's university tuition cost which is one hundred and fifty thousand dollars it's as if irma's pay remains the same and she saves the same amount each month what is the minimum number of years that she must work in order to save enough money to cover her son's tuition. So it's all of her savings is dedicated towards the son's tuition cost. So let us look at what is Irma's savings amount. So Irma's savings amount, according to this table, is $1,750 per fortnight. So what we can start by doing is to find out what is the annual amount that Irma saved. So annual savings would be equal to, I think it was $1,750. And we're going to multiply that by the amount of fortnight that is in a year, which is 26, as we calculated up above. So therefore, the annual savings would be equal to so when you work that out so 1750 multiplied by 26 we get 45,500 so this is the annual savings 45,500 so each year Irma will save $45,500 towards her son's university tuition what it tells us is that Irma's son's tuition is $150,000. So therefore, amount of years would then be equal to the $150,000 divided by $45,500. And when we do that, What we'll get is three point. Let's just say three point three years when we run so three point three years. So it is a little above three years that will take Irma to save for her son's tuition. So somewhere between the third and the fourth year, it will take Irma to save for her tuition. So therefore, what we're going to do is then to round it off. We can't round it off to three years because if we use three years, if we do 45,000, 
500 multiplied by 3, what we'll get is 136,500. So Irma will have to push a little bit longer and stay in that job just a little bit more to get her son's university tuition. So what we'll say is Irma just work for four years and therefore um, you will get your son's tuition and a little bit more. So therefore, suggested minimum years would be four years as at the three year mark she would not make the total tuition and that is the end of question one for june 2019 paper and we'll see you for question two for this same june 2019